Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today we will look at some troubleshooting and probably DNS. I say probably because it may or may not be DNS. <laughs> All right, folks, let's get started. So what's the problem? So the client complains that intermittently their computer stutter, their words, not mine. I love it when they do that. It makes perfect sense to me. Doesn't matter what applications they're using, the time of day or which day. So basically any time, right? And uh, there is no real interval or pattern at which this happens either. So all this means random, right? Start with a little diagram. We got a client. We got two routers. We got two VLANs. So the, the routers are obviously on the subnet. Client is obviously on this subnet. And out they go to the internet. Now I'm finding it more and more common that people have multiple uh, routers or paths or load balancing uh, in their environment for various reasons. So this is not uncommon to have two things. It may just be represented differently than your environment. Now, what we did was we took a trace from the client and we said, uh, just go to the internet and let's see what happens. And from that trace, we quickly discovered, or I quickly discovered, that there was no response from this DNS server 1.1.1.1. I'm just going to call it DNS1 and the other one DNS8, just to make it easier so I have to say a mouthful every time. And we could see that the client is to go into 1, DNS1, and there is no response. So in the source, there's no 1.1.1.1 coming back. But I can see the client talking to 8. DNS 8 and I see 8 coming back. So 8 definitely works, 1 not so much. Now, I know for a fact that this DNS 1 exists and it's up. I know that. So something is going on here. So now what are we going to do? Well, let's go back to the client. Let's do an IP config all. Let's start validating and verifying, right? So we're going to verify and validate that number 1. That's his IP, right? This is his subnet mask. Very important because sometimes this is part of the problem. Default gateway, good, and DNS servers, DNS1, DNS8, perfect, awesome. So from the client, let's try pinging 8, it should work, it did. And then we're going to try pinging DNS1, it did not work. Hmm, now isn't that interesting? So that tells us something right off the bat. It tells us not only did DNS not get to 1, DNS1, but the pings did not get to DNS1 either. So that kind of starts eliminating a firewall or ACL or something blocking DNS because it ping didn't get through either. So it kind of looks like that. We don't know for sure, but just kind of looks like that. So now what are we going to do? Let's go on to the switch. Switch is layer three because it's routing. So I want to look at its routing table. And there I could see 1.1.1.1 is going out router two, this guy. And then I could see our default is going out three. Hmm. I also looked at the running config because these are static routes. I want to make sure everything kind of looks the way it should and that they jive, and they do, right? We can see here, right? IP route 000, it goes to three, and one goes to two. All right, so all that kind of makes sense. Now, what do we do? Well, from the switch and the router, let's try pinging the routers. Take a step back, right? So we're going to ping two, works. We're going to ping three, works. So from the switch, we can get to these routes these routers no problem awesome so it's not like a cabling issue to two or two's down or flaked out or whatever okay so everything's up and running awesome so let's go back to the client let's ping two and let's try pinging three ding 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 so we know that from the client we can't get to two but from the switch we can get to two hmm so I went to router number two I logged in I can't show you a screenshot from it unfortunately but it was missing the static route to get back to that subnet, that 1044 subnet. So I simply added a route on 2 to get back to this subnet. Now we ping 3 to make sure nothing broke. Everything's still working fine. Ping 2, and now it works. Here's where people make a mistake. Don't stop here. Now we're talking about routing. So what you should also do is run a trace route just to make sure. So here we go. We're going to run a trace route to 888, and we're going out 3, and we're going to trace route to 1, and it should go out 2. Awesome. Now, I'm telling you right now, I, I go about this all the time, a little bit of a rant. You should always do a routing audit. You should always verify that your routes go where they think they should go. So please, 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 please check your routes. So the moral of the story is make sure that if you have static routes, they work both ways, on the way out and on the way in. Because I'm telling you right now, it may not just work, which was obvious here, but sometimes on the way back, it takes a less efficient route. 
and it's slow or packet loss or whatever. Please check your stuff. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.